Good morning everyone. Myself Dr. Sarita, Associate Professor in English, Government Girls College, Shapura, Jaipur. Today we are going to do a brief introduction to the play The Post Office by Rabindranath Tagore. In this first video we would be doing uh, a brief introduction about the play and the author. In the next video we would be continuing with the plot summary. Rabindranath Tagore, an Indian writer of all forms of literature as well as a painter and composer, predominantly wrote in Bengali, though several of his poems and plays have been translated into English. Originally written in Bengali in 1912, Dark Ghar was translated into English by W. B. Yeats, renowned English poet, as the post office and performed in 1913 by the Abbey Theatre Company in Dublin, Ireland and London, England. The play was then published in English in 1914. To this day, the post office is the most renowned and beloved of Ta Tagore's dramatic works and it is still regularly produced in the United States and abroad. The play is about a small boy who is chronically ill on account of his sickness the boy is confined to his bed and he sits by his window watching life go by without him. Only by dying is the boy finally set free. In this manner, the play is primarily a metaphor for spiritual freedom, for death as a beginning rather than an ending. The play also presents a social commentary on class structure through the servants who surround the boy during his illness. Having remained in print for almost 100 years, the post office is still the most loved play of Rabindranath Tagore. Let me also introduce you to this renowned author, Indian author Rabindranath Tagore. He was born on 7th May 1861 in Calcutta, India, which was then under British rule. Rabindranath Tagore, let me repeat, was born on 7th May 1861 in Kolkata, India, which was then under British rule. His mother was named Sarada Devi and his father Debendranath Tagore was a scholar, religious reformer, philosopher and writer. Tagore began writing at an early age, publishing poetry in various magazines and journals by the age of 13. By the age of 16, he had already gained recognition for his poetry. He is the author of the first short sto story ever to be written in Bengali, Bikarini, in 1877, in English, translated as The Beggar Woman. He continued to write poetry and verse and play verse plays at this time, and he also began composing hin Hindu devotionals. In 1879, Tagore left India to pursue his studies at the University College of London, but he did not enjoy attending school and returned home without a degree in 1880. Tagore married Mrinalini Devi Rai Chaudhary on December 9, 1883. The couple had three daughters, Madhuri Lata, nicknamed Bela, Renuka and Meera, and two sons, Rabindranath and Samindranath, Rathindranath and Samindranath. Two of the children did not live until adulthood. His wife died around 1902. While his family was still young, Tagore began managing some of the family estates, traveling to villages that are now part of Bangladesh. His experiences and travels over this period are reflected in Sonar Thari, his first significant collection of poems published in 1894. The collection was translated into English and published as The Golden Boat in 1932. The short stories he wrote at this time also portrayed village life. This period, running from the 1880s to 1910, was the most prolific of Tagore's life. He wrote not only poems and short stories, but also novels, plays, and children's books. Over this time, his style evolved from Romanticism to Realism 
and he experimented with different literary forms never before attempted in Bengali literature, assuring his place as a prominent Bengali writer. By 1911, only a small portion of Tagore's prolific output had been translated into English. Planning his own trip to England, being too ill to travel, Tagore instead worked on translating his Bengali works into English. He particularly worked on translating the prose poems from his 1910 collection of Gitanjali. By early 1912, Tagore was well enough to travel to England and with, with his completed translations. There, his work was championed by, famed, by the famed poet W.B. Yeats and Ezra Pound, and Yeats wrote the introduction to the 1912 English language edition of Gitanjali. During the early 20th century, the Nobel Prize was awarded for a single work of literature and in 19, 1913, Tagore received the prize for Gitanjali. He was the first Asian Nobel laureate. Leaving England in late 1912 for a lecture tour in America, Tagore returned to London in April in, the April, in April of 1913. There, he saw the Abbey Theatre Company's performance of the post office, originally written in Bengali in 1912, as Dagghar. The play was translated and performed in English shortly thereafter. It was then published in English in 1914. By this time, given his receipt of the Nobel Prize and his prominent literary advocates in England and America, Tagore became an internationally renowned literary figure. Traveling the world and giving lectures in 1915, Tagore was knighted by the British government. Aside from his writing, Tagore had progressive views on education, politics, and religion. He founded an ashram, a spiritual community, and associated school in 1901. In 1919, he resigned his knighthood as an act of political protest following the Amritsar massacre in which British troops fired on Indian protesters, which is popularly known as the Jallianwala Bagh Khan, killing 400 people. In 1921, he co-founded the Institute, Institute for Rural Reconstruction, later renamed Shan, Sri Niketan. The school largely promoted philosophies that diverged from those of political leader Mahatma Gandhi, as Tagore did not always agree with Gandhi's ideals. During the 1930s, Tagore began protesting Hindu caste structure. Notably, his work as a composer is still very much a part of Indian culture. He is the author of the National Anthem of India and of the National Anthem of Bangladesh. His paintings which Tagore began to work on in his later years were ex exhibited throughout Europe. Tagore's popularity abroad began to wane later in his career, especially after he renounced his knighthood and publicly criticized Britain's colonialist culture and constant warfare. Indeed, by 1920, when Tagore again traveled to England and America, America he was not warmly received. Notably, his school reception was based on political and not art artistic values. For this reason, his work in English translation is still read and studied in the 21st century. Regardless, Tagore never again achieved the international success that he had accomplished with Gitanjali. His work, however, was still gaining recognition outside of Europe and Tagore spent much of the 1920s traveling to such countries as China and Peru. By the late 1930s, World War II put an end to his travels, as did his advancing age. Tagore died at the age of 80 on August 7, 1941 in Kolkata. His remains were cremated. In the next video, students, we would be doing the plot summary of the three acts of the play, The Post Office. Thank you.